Hi everyone, this is Tim, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for Monday, November 25th through Sunday, December 1st. And Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, as this is Thanksgiving week. And I want to dedicate this reading to um, all of you, all of you who uh, watch every week and happen to fall upon this channel periodically. I thank you. I'm very thankful for all of you. I'm thankful that um, I get to be able to do this every week for you. And God has granted me the ability to be able to hold down three different jobs so that I can, uh, you know, do this. I, I'm blessed to be able to have all of the wonderful things in my life. And uh, you know, I, I work as a full-time employment counselor. That's what I do during the day, 40 hours a week. And I have a church job that I do on Thursdays and Sundays. And then I fit this in. So this is my third job. And I'm so blessed that I have, you know, at least one, especially in, in today's economy, uh, let alone three. So I'm very, very thankful and blessed for that. Um, Think about that as you go through this week of what you're grateful and thankful for every single day uh, with this week. Find something that, you know, you are truly thankful for. And instead of focusing on all of the things that are going wrong in your life, I want you to turn that around and focus on all of the wonderful things that are going right in your life. And with that being the case and the situation as we move through this week, I uh, wanted to work with a couple different decks here. The answer is simple. That's the first deck that is by Sonia Choquette. And then I thought I would work with crystals this week as well. So we're going to be following that up with the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. I've already uh, shuffled and pre-selected a couple of these, and I've got a bonus card here from uh, the Flower Therapy Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got to tell you, I really feel, uh, especially with the past couple of weeks, that this has really been a lot of releasing for me. And I feel that this is also going to be coming in for this week as well, you know, letting go of things that we don't use any longer. Uh, I know I'm going through my whole house a little bit at a time. Um, this is a, a six month to a year long plan for me most likely, but I'm, I'm finding something every single day that I don't use and setting it aside and uh, keeping that for six months. And if I don't use that item, I'm going to release it. I'm gonna let it go. I'm trying to find those things that I'm holding on to that um, I don't use that are keeping me back and you know that's a lot of the items that may be in all of our homes you know we have to take care of those things one way or another uh, we have to dust it and nurture it and there's no point in dusting or nurturing something if I don't use it so that's been my mindset and um, I invite you to do that too I think it's really healthy that we periodically take a look and reevaluate what's going on around us, even in our homes and our jobs, and find out what we want to keep and what we don't, and to let go of that rather than hoarding all of those things. Because once we release, we feel so much free. And I've, I've already been feeling that. And I know that this is going to be my, um, my journey throughout this next year, because um, I already know that this is a, a, a releasing year for me and, and a letting go. Um, as we begin with the first part, this is... It says to seek an expert. And I'm drawn to the little girl looking up at the caterpillar, sitting upon the mushroom. I love this card. That's so funny. That she's come to this caterpillar to ask this caterpillar for wonderful advice as far as what she needs to do. And I think that a lot of this is... You know, we have been allowing our egos. You may find that throughout this week that, you know, you, know, you, you just enough is enough that, you know, I've tried to or you may have or someone may has uh, throughout this week taking a look at things that we have maybe tried to fix ourselves or try to do ourselves because of our pride and our egos. And now, and now you know, spirit's saying, OK, you know what, you may need to go seek um an actual 
person that does this for a living. So this could be, I, I, I am also getting a hit that this could be health issues. So you may be, you know, have been avoiding going to a medical doctor, trying to nurture your own bodies, and you may need to actually go and actually seek the advice of a doctor. This could be a plumber. You know, you, you may have had a leaky faucet that you've been, you know, struggling with for months, and, you know, now it's time to actually go seek this advice of this individual. So that's the energy of this card here, is really going to uh, have someone else help you with what's going on and what needs to be taken care of, especially what needs to be taken care of. Because our ego has a really sneaky way of saying, you know what, I can do it, we can fix it, I don't need any help. But actually, when it boils down to it, we may need to do that. And also, this gives the opportunity for someone else to be able to help you. Because there could be this expert, like this caterpillar. We don't know how long this caterpillar has been sitting up here for this little girl to walk up to him and say, hey, I need your help. There could be an expert out there that has been itching to actually help someone. You know, they may have just acquired all of this wonderful knowledge, and they're just just can't wait for someone to approach them and say, hey, can you help me with this? And so you give someone else the opportunity of excitement by them being able to help you. So it's a wonderful give and take relationship that way. As we move to the middle part of the week, this is, this is give it to God. And the clouds that I see here are, uh, represent to me problems. But the balloons represent rising. So I see us rising above any issues that we uh, may have been encountering. So this is letting go. So the question that I want you to focus and contemplate on is, what have you been holding on to? What have you been holding on to that you've been needing to release? And again, it all circles back down to surrender and releasing. And... I, I think that that's going to continue to do that. This could be anger. Perhaps you've been holding on to some resentment. Or um, this could be holding on to, again, things that have worn themselves out that really, you know, you just don't need any longer. And it's time to let those excess baggage, so to speak, just to release all of that. Um, and this will help you break free, you know, breaking free so that you can get that weight off your back whatever that may be. So we may be finding ourselves as we move into the middle part of this week to, you know, we've got this wonderful advice that we've been given and now we are being guided to, whether from that individual or from our own selves, to just release it, just to let it go. There's no need to hold on to it. So you can go within and call upon your spirit to reassure you and to quiet any of the emotions that you may have that ego may be trying to tell you, oh, no, 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 you need to do this. You need to do that. Uh, so don't worry. You know, it's saying that um, you, you really don't do any good if you're if you're worrying about any issues. Let go. Let God is what I see with this. OK, now. um and I, you know, I really feel that all of this, too, is really helping you as far as trusting. And I think this could be issues as, as far as trust issues, too. Uh, that, why, that may be why we've been holding on to these issues. But Spirit is saying to let go and trust. Trust that everything's going to be okay. There could be choices that you're struggling with, and you're not really quite sure which one that you need to be taking. And I almost feel like... Um, what I'm hearing is they're just saying, pick one, just, just make that first step. You know, you don't need to see the whole staircase. You just need to make that first step. You just need to see the first stair and trust that, you know, God angels will get you to the end of that staircase. Just take that first step is what I keep hearing. Um, at the end of this week, the crystal is kyanite. I love kyanite. I work with kyanite especially when I am doing readings. I actually have um, a piece of kyanite right on, my, uh, right on my table right here. And here's a piece right here. It can come in this form. It's uh, very splintered. And this is more of a gray, but this one in here, and I've got a piece right here, and I'll move this out of the way so you can actually see it. But this is a blue kyanite. It's a little small. Sorry about that. This is not that um, 
You're probably not going to be able to see a whole lot of it. But it's almost transparent, but it's got some gray and blue. So if you've got some kyanite or if you, um, you know, live in a community where you have a metaphysical shop, most likely you're going to be able to find kyanite there. But this is also, this is uh, a wonderful crystal to work with as far as alignment. And this will help you balance out any emotional issues that you may have in regards to uh, releasing or letting go. So caring that would help you with that. So it'll help you to uh, keep your body calm and more relaxed. Also it will help you in your dreams too. So don't be surprised by if you do carry kyanite that you may, um, especially if it's by your bed, that you'll be doing a lot more dream work and remembering your dreams as well. But it's wonderful for activating your ability to really communicate tele uh, telepathically too. So it's great for intuitive work. Uh, I, I know that this is good for also studying and trying to figure out a, a solution to a problem, which is why I see that this comes up with, you know, the problem that you may be having. Carrying this piece of kyanite will actually help you come to having that aha moment. Now I know what I need to do. So I think that that would be really good for you. But again, it does it really does help as far as like home the emotions. So um, and it does really help with aligning the uh, chakras so that, you know, if you've got too much energy, it can help balance that out. Uh, it's really good as far as like, um, you know, as far as physical uses, it is good as far as uh, balancing any inflamed areas that you may be having. And a lot of that inflammation is a lot due to holding on to emotional issues too. And it's really good as far as improving eating habits too. So it's an all around wonderful crystal to work with. Um, and you know, it, it really is good as far as helping you with your intuitive abilities and ideas. It's also um, with this crystal here, again, dream work is don't be surprised if that does happen for you so pay attention to your dreams that may be coming up over the next couple of days or even weeks with this too you may want to create a dream journal and write those dreams down but uh, a good grounding stone so it's a, a good stone to work with every day especially at work and it helps keep you more focused and also to help you to be a little bit more relaxed and uh, especially with intuitive abilities too. Now the um, bonus card here from the flower therapy, it says become the true you and how perfect with all of this here. And I, I want to say that we do actually become the true you ourselves when we let go of the, whatever this issue is that we're holding on to. So show the world who you really are and what you were born to do. So if this is in relation to a struggle that you've been holding on to, let it go so that you can become this true, wonderful person that you are. Let go of any anger that you have. Uh, trust and know that the choices that you're making are the correct ones. And ask for God and the angels for guidance in helping you make those correct choices. And trust and know that you can um, trust what you're feeling as well. Ask your angels for help with you to give you support and guidance that you may be seeking, as well as what choice that you should be making or what would be the best choice for your highest self. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful week. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for my new subscribers, and I hope you have a blessed week. Bye now.